Hi, I'm Gem, and this is my 2022 self-destruct list. So this is gonna be super quick. One, because my dinner is almost ready and I am hungry. And two, because I don't know what any of these are about. Now, <laughs> I was shocked. So you've probably seen the self-destruct floating around. I think it was originally done by Becca from Becca in the Books, who I will link down below. But you guys know who Becca is anyway, but should we link down below? So I've seen lots of people sharing their lists and I normally do one and then don't stick to it. Like I don't self-destruct them because no one knew about it because they didn't have a channel. But now I have something to hold me accountable. So I'm going to whiz through these super duper quick. This is going to be like the quickest video ever. I'll try and give you the briefest description if I can remember anything about them. And originally there was 12. There's an additional one which we'll come to. First up we have The Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson. This is kind of like Hunger Games, but with monsters, human and reptilian. I don't know. It sounded quite good. It's a Hunger Games-esque type YA novel. Sounds pretty good. We'll see. We have Unwind by Neil Schusterman. This is about, uh, in this world, you can kind of give up your unwanted teenagers for spare parts, and then three of them are on the run to try and like break the system and make it to 18. Uh, you know, sounds weird. Then I have The Call by Peter O'Gillan. Is that how you say it? Something like that. You have three minutes to save your life. They train for this time when they'll get pulled into this like competition in like a dangerous place and only like one in ten people makes it out alive or something. Without warning, each one of them will wake in a terrifying land alone and hunted with a one in ten chance of returning alive. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds kind of Hunger Games-esque again, but I don't know. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid has been sat on my shelf for way too long at this point and it's about uh, you trying to be a diabolic to protect someone and the person that our character is protecting is like a sister to her so she changes places and pretends to be human to save her. I don't know. Uh, it sounds quite good. Ink by Alice Broadway. Again, has been on my shelf for way too long and yes, this was a cover by. And this is, this girl has something to hide but it's really hard to hide something in this world because everything that you do is like inked onto your skin, like it just appears on your skin and she's trying to hide something. So I don't know, but again, sounds cool but really was a cover by so I need to like Shit will get off the pot, as the phrase goes. <laughs> the Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. I remember nothing about this, but I think it has witches. Our main character is a descendant of a famous witch who cursed her family and she's trying to break the curse or escape the curse. I don't know. Um, I've heard mixed things about this one, so it's pretty short. We'll see, but if not, it's not one that I'm going to be like devastated to let go of, if that makes sense. Next up is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody. I remember nothing. It's to do with a circus, which I think is what pulled me in. But I read another book by Amanda Foody called Ace of Space, which I didn't enjoy, which has kind of like stopped me from picking it up. But I do like a circus setting. So let's see. But I don't know what it's about. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> we probably won't. Next up, we have The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. And this is set in this city where it's like a really nice place. Um, but every 12 years you forget everything, like you forget everyone and everything unless you've written it down. So I guess you, you don't write down the things that you don't want to remember. And someone uses memories to start trying to get outside the city and something like she she needs to figure out what's going on outside the city before everyone forgets about her. I don't know, but I remember thinking it sounded really cool when I first heard of it. So we'll see. Next up, I have 10 by Gretchen McNeil and it says 10 teens, three days, one killer. So it does actually sound like something I would enjoy, especially at the moment. And I think these teens go to an island and they think it's just going to be like a party and then people start to die. So it does actually sound like something that I would really enjoy, especially with the mood I'm in at the minute. So this one might actually get picked. Who knows? I mean, a lot of these could just be walking out the door in 2023. Next up, I have The Rules by Nancy Holder and Debbie... Vega? <laughs> I have no idea. The Gaia? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I have no idea. Um, This is about teens at like this prestigious school and... Is it prestigious? I don't know. But they're at this school and it has like a reputation for having really cool exclusive parties. But then um, they, the popular kids start hunting people. Because this time the high school elite aren't the ones doing the hunted. They're the ones being hunted. It says, here are your rules. Don't run. Don't scream. Play the game. This just moved up my list. I would quite like to get to this one actually. So, so far of all of these, we've had like two, maybe three that I'm super excited for. 
or is super keen to get to. Next up we have Born by Jeff Vandermeer. I love this cover and I kind of don't want to get rid of it so I guess I better read it um, because I got this from a charity shop and it was a steal. I think it was like 50p and this is about... Is a Jeff Vandermeer book? Do we really know what it's about? No. I've only read Annihilation from him and I can't tell you anything what that was about. I just really enjoyed it. So maybe I'll really enjoy this because we know what I'm like. I love a weird book. I do really want to get to this one. I've had this on my Kindle for a really long time and then I bought this hardback because I was like, that's a steal. But I still haven't read it. So I'm putting it on the list. And then our penultimate book is one that I'm sure no one is shocked to see. Starters by Alyssa Price. I was supposed to read this at the end of 2021. It was my cauldron read and I didn't. And we decided to let me off because um, it was Christmas. <laughs> you know, it's Christmas. And so we thought that I probably should just be allowed to keep it. But I'm sticking it on this list now because it has travelled with me for so long and still hasn't been read. It's got to happen. This is a YA book about you can hire out your body, basically. Um, so to older people. Oh my god, this sounds so weird. No way, I'm no. <laughs> I'm I'm Oh, there's my bookmark. See, the intention was there. I've been looking for this. I am wording this really weird and making it sound crazy. But basically, you can put yourself in the body bank and then they'll hire your body out to other people to kind of like, I don't know go out and have parties it's so like older people who want to be young again he wants to be young again wow i'm making this up really bad um he wants to be young again and then the person that hires her body out is not kind of just going off to have a party they are trying to commit murder so it does sound really cool not when i talk about it but it does sound really cool and then lastly the book that got added on as a kind of afterthought is <laughs> the bells by danelle clayton now if you watched my 12 Hours of Dice Miss. You may be not surprised to see this because this came up as an option and I think my face said it all. Even though I had put it on there, I had put it in as an option and then it came up and I was like, oh God. <laughs> and I don't know why that is because it actually sounds pretty good. But for some reason, I'm just really like never in the mood for it ever, ever. So everyone's born kind of grey and dull and then a bell's power can make them beautiful and everyone wants to kind of be the bell that looks after the royal family um but when they kind of get to that position they find that there's a lot of secrets and stuff like i don't know i don't know how i feel about it anymore i was really really excited when i got it i really wanted it and now i'm just like i don't know like i'm i'm definitely moving away from ya fantasy but there are still some really good ones that i want to get to so you know i mean never say never i might go back into a ya fantasy mood it's just not how i'm feeling right now which is probably why my face did that thing in December because I was like where's my horror and thriller I want murder at Christmas so that's it super super sure I'm sorry it was like really fast paced but basically I just wanted something to look back on at the beginning of 2023 see how I did get rid of the ones I haven't read or put them on like my January TBR, maybe that'll happen. Like all the ones that I haven't read will be my January TBR or my December TBR or something. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. What do people do with this? I'll probably sit down to edit it and just be like, <laughs> we need to slow this down. <laughs> Why are you speaking so fast? <laughs> Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> I was actually supposed to film my mid month wrap up for you to have out when this is now gonna come out, but I didn't get around to it. So I'll film that next. You'll have that later in the week. Have this for now. I don't know, we'll look back at it in 2023. If you have any books on your self-destruct list, let me know in the comments below. I'll check back in with you in 2023 and see how you did as well. Like we can discuss it. Like I can't believe we're talking about 2023. It's January, 2022. But you know, we set ourselves up for failure for a whole year. <laughs> if you've read any books from this stack that you think I really need to prioritize, please do let me know and I will, you know, do my best. We know what I'm like, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of like must reads in my TBRs. Like I need to have a Kindle book so it actually doesn't punish me. I need to do my self-destruct list so I don't have to throw them away. I need to do a Stephen King so I don't ruin my challenge. You know, there's a lot. Buddy reads, vamp along, you know? But I, I got this, I got this shit. That's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more bookish content from me, remember to hit that button, leave a like if you want to, and I will see you in the next one. Is. I'll still link her. <laughs> Desk. Fuck.
and oh god I'm always a distract list please <laughs> maybe we call a joke mm-hmm